Here's a super quick example of how to use Node-RED to create a user dashboard and send commands over the network with a TCP request. So start your timer, ready, set, and go. Let's see how fast I could get this done. So we'll pull over two buttons so we could send two different commands and those will show up on our user interface. And then we'll need a, a function node to create those commands. And then the TCP request node, and that will that's what actually makes the TCP connection. And it also allows us to receive commands. So to receive commands, we'll show those in the user interface, whatever we get back from the device. So uh, we'll take this text node there. And then we'll just wire all these guys up. So my buttons will get connected to the function node, and then the function node to the TCP node and then the output of that will show up in a text field. Now, what flows between these nodes is a JavaScript object, which is basically just um, key value pairs. And the thing we're interested in here is called payload. So it's called, a, it's called message, the variable that is the JSON object is called message. And what we use, the actual command that gets sent is message.payload. So let me just show you real quick what I mean by that. I've got a command all set here. I'll copy and paste it in. So I'll just drop that right in there. And what I'm doing is um, I'm setting message.payload. That is what will get sent to the TCP socket to the commands that I want to send. But I also got this variable in here and I'll, I'll use that. That is what will come from these buttons here and it'll be a one or a two. So I'll select input one or input two. And uh, that's the variable for that. And then we say return message and that'll send this complete JavaScript object out the output of the node. And then the TCP request node after this will take payload and just send it off to the device. So over here, um, I'll say to send the payload of one so that it selects input one. And over here, we'll say input uh, two. And that's that. And we'll need to open this up so that it gets assigned to a group in our user interface. And then we can and then we still need to assign an IP address to the TCP request node. I know the IP address and the port is 4998 and that is about it. Let's leave that connection open and then we'll say done. And we can make this a little prettier. We'll hit deploy and now this bit of code is running. So I've got my IP address. Uh, node red is running on port 1880. I take that same IP address and port and then say slash UI for my user interface. And then I could click this button to select input one. And you see that I get an object, a response back from the device. And uh, I could parse that a little better, do a two string uh, function on it, and then you'd be able to read that better. So now input one is selected and now input two is selected. And I think this is just really a great way to test devices super quickly. You could even run this on a Windows or a Mac. You don't even need a Raspberry Pi. You could run it on any old laptop. It's a great example of software defined design. So go ahead, check out nodered.org, give it a try and let me know what you think.